Um, it's Lee and Alex here again. Um, last week, um, we touched on um, After Effects and how effective body movement is, um, as it being quite a, a current um, add-on um, recently, especially with web developers. Um, this week, um, myself, I'm going to touch on um, Adobe Illustrator. Uh, with a, with a, one of the new tools that came out uh, the other week uh, with the new update which is the free transform um, gradient tool um, so we're going to have a look at that um, I've not actually played with it much so this is going to be quite interesting for us all um, so I'm going to have a little play with it and uh, and then we're going to look at um, an illustration that um, I've previously done uh, because I know there's something on there that this new tool um, may be really effective um, with so, uh, let's jump straight into it then. Um, Alex, do you want to say hello to everyone? Why, yeah, hi everyone. Um, just to uh, quickly apologize about uh, the last video as well, we did have some mic problems, uh, but we've got we've got them fixed now, so hopefully, yeah, <laughs> hopefully, yeah, right. So, <clears throat> over to you, yeah, okay. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna uh, we're gonna open a new file, um, uh, and then we're gonna go to what I normally do is tend to go to print. I'm just going to go to A4. Um, to have a landscape, just create a document. <clears throat> so I just want to have a little play actually, because I've not actually uh, had time to play really with these new tools. Um, as you're aware, um, you know we've got, we do have all the, we do have the other tools, the green tools, as you've probably seen. So we've got the normal tools um, would you say this is like a beginner's tutorial or um, yeah yeah I probably would um, I mean normally we go through kind of like pen tools and stuff like that so we're going to go through the um, the gradient tool um, obviously the, you can find the gradient tool on the left hand side or there's easy access in the panel on the right hand side too um, so what's actually pretty cool um, is Especially with the CC stuff is actually you can actually have full control on the um, on the gradient itself. Um, you know, being able to move, and you can just keep striking down until you're happy wherever you want it. Um, which I'm sure a lot of people are already aware of this kind of tool. To be fair, um, and then obviously you got the the radial one that comes from the center, which is quite effective when obviously you just want to get a bit of shadow on something. You know. Yeah. Kind of like on our logo, we kind of yeah. use a similar sort of thing, the, the, the white on top of the, the canopy. Yeah. We yeah. kind of use a kind of similar kind of thing. Now, what's pretty cool is that obviously there's a new tool, um, the Freeform Gradient tool, which um, has come about, which I'm really excited to play with. So, in this one, we can actually, as you see, if you've normally got colour in, in, in your document, it, it will actually automatically bring it into here. As we've got no colour, it's actually just giving us one solid colour. So, what we can do. Um, let's start off by um, the first option, which is the, uh, the, the draw option, which is points. And we can actually just drop in points wherever we want. I mean, we've had nothing like this really on, um, no. on any application. Um, I mean, I've used a fair few vector um, programs, and this one is, is just is really cool. Yeah. So we've put five points in there, and if you just double click, um, you can actually just choose, choose any colors you want. Um, Double click them again. Let's just add some colour in there, some different colour. Oh, and that, that blends the colour as well. Uh, yeah, what's really cool about this is actually, so we, we actually put um, some colours in there. I'll fill them out and I'll show you what's, what's actually pretty pretty cool. Um, let's go for yellow. What else would you like in there, Alex? An orange? Yeah, a good old orange. Can't be an orange. So you see how it blends. And when you actually get quite close to another one, you see how it's turning around. Oh. So you can make some really cool, like if you're a very abstract kind of <laughs> yeah. person, you can make some really cool um, adjustments with this. Um, so let's just say, and one other thing is, you see this little point down here? You can actually make it bigger. Yeah. I mean, the only downside is you can't make it, you can't make it massive. It's, only, it's quite limited to um, the diameter that um, you can go in there. So yeah. um, you can make some pretty useful things. Um, so we've got some colour, got some colour in there. And you can 
let's just take the overall let's take the the, the stroke off so we kind of got this and then we got let's put a background on usually you wouldn't be able to do stuff like this very easily would you um no <laughs> no <laughs> quite a little bit of the gradient tools so th this would be quite useful if you were doing um i don't know like you know like even text type I always found it really quite hard with Illustrator uh, using the gradient tools on type, yeah, um, with the compounds and stuff like that. So this for me um, is very useful because you can really control the, the way a gradient can go around a letter. Yeah. So yeah. say if you had like a C, normally if you just had a gradient, um, I'll show you. I'll show you what I mean. So if you had like um, let's type something quickly. So C example you put that let's just make it let's just make it 200 for example you know we uh, what we're gonna do is just expand it so it's into a shape um, normally you have your gradient tool which is I mean normally it works all right you know if you have the gradient tool, you see how kind of the bottom is with the top. Yeah. And if you, you know, if you want in, I know you can, I know you can do something like, like that. Sometimes yeah. it can get into, get into the bottom corners like that, you see? Mm -hmm. You don't yeah. have like a full control of it. Yeah. And, uh, but obviously with, with this tool, you can, you can have full control because what's great about this is, is actually, um, as well as dropping points, it's actually a line tool. And what this does is um, it allows you to connect. You see? Oh. <laughs> see? <laughs> it even curves a lot. Yeah. <laughs> How incredible is that for text? No, so at this point, not only can we control the one color, we can control as many as we want yeah. with these points. So let me just demonstrate. So. Um, um, let me just um, so I don't know where these points have gone in fact I just went off I have noticed it's quite buggy um, so right, let's try that again right so we go from there and we go from There. Yep. So we add a color, and then we can add another color. We can add another color. Um, I think you get the idea. So this here, as you can see, it has no trouble of bending around a corner. You see? Really like how it blends in. So it blends around, so it's, you've got more control of, yeah. of blending colors around, um, which previously <coughs> you didn't. So when it comes to making logos or branding and stuff like that, we can really pin yeah. down what colors we want. Obviously that's just a, an example but, um, that you can do. And uh, that's, with the, that's with using the line tools on the new gradient um, effect. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah. To be fair. Um, as, as well as you can use the uh, the points just to drop points if that's the way you want to work and you can kind of so and so, you know. So with that in mind. What are we going to do with there? Well, um, well, a few things really. Um, I just want to quickly demonstrate on here that obviously you can, I mean, it's asked a lot. Can you put transparency, opacity down on on each point, um, yes, would be the answer. Um, so you got to go back in. You got to edit the gradient. So you can actually go into it, and you can, the great thing is you can actually drop the opacity down um, in certain areas as well, or have none at all, um, which is great. Which really, I seen in another tutorial where um, you could make 
kind of like steam sort of effect. Yeah. And I thought, wow, that's going to be really, really good for um, something we already have. <clears throat> so let me just let me just open um, a file up. Um, So we'll just ignore that. So as you can see here, we have an uh, illustration that we made uh, a while back, which is uh, for our, our current website. Um, so we've got a daytime version and we've got a nighttime version. Um, so on the nighttime version, as you can see, we actually have some mist. And when I was watching the tutorial, um, I actually thought, wow, oh, that's really cool. I know we've got um, an illustration that has some, has some fog on it. I wonder if how effective the, the new grading tool would be using the fog. Um, I've not actually <laughs> done this yet. So you're exper experimenting with me at home. So um, let's, let's, let's have a go. So as you can see here, I've got a, an element over here on the left hand side, for example. Um, it's already at 25% opacity, so it's, but it's quite blocky. Um, I know it fits the illustration and it's quite, it's, it's quite vector based. Yes, yeah, kind yeah. of fits illustration, but I feel like it needs to look more misty. Actually, I, yeah, so, yeah, like actual mist. Well, try. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I've not tried this before, so it might not work at all. But um, with the new gradient tool, um, I've got a feeling we could probably do something quite effective. So as you can see, I've gone into the freeform gradient, um, and we've got lines. And we've got points. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to use the lines and I'm going to draw right through here. Some lines, and then I'm going to draw another. What? Let's put some points in. So if I put some points in here. Put some points in at the bottom. You probably wonder what I'm doing. Yeah, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You look really confused, though. <laughs> so, um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to keep this straight line in the middle, um, just white, as it already is. Yeah. Um, and the outside points, I'm actually going to take the transparency off. Oh, so oh. that's how you're going to make that smooth edge. Uh, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> so what it's going to do, it's just going to keep the white solid in the middle, but still at 25% mm. yeah, no. opacity. So hopefully by double clicking these, I can actually, I can actually just take, can't just take down these edges and you can move them about. So, you know, you can just keep taking them down, kind of that thing. Move them about. Let's change that one down because that's still 100%. I mean, you can have like 10% as well, just different effects. Yeah. I mean, I'm just trying. I'm actually just trying with you guys. So, um, again, just you can add more in there, as many as you need. And as you can see, it's, I think it's, I think it's kind of working. Yeah, you can see that really come through, okay. I think so. <laughs> um, so let's just let's just power through these, dim them down a bit. Let's make this one a bit bigger. So hopefully, see how that just takes the edge off and gives it more of a, a misty feel. It's yeah, not, it hasn't got those sharp edges. You can see it all on the top there, the top left. It's took it all off. Yes, yeah, completely. So Looks really good. Let's try. Let's try. Let's try putting this on like thirty percent. This one on. You know, let's let's add one there. Put. Do you think twenty ten percent? Yeah. Add another one here. I'm really gonna enjoy this. I think. <laughs> I think we're really gonna enjoy this. So it opens up new possibilities, doesn't it? Well, look how much control you've got. Yeah. <laughs> you, can just, you can just drag and drop like stuff anywhere. It's amazing. It's actually really good. It's uh, definitely a step forward, you know? 
I mean, now look, you see how it's beginning to. Yeah, no, that looks more realistic. Maybe we can just, you know. I think you get the idea. The um, we can just keep dropping them in, and then you know. So we can definitely see that work. Yeah, definitely. So again, you could be as creative as you want. Um, I have seen other kind of things where people have been doing like cups of tea and steam and stuff. I just thought it would look it would work really cool um, for a fog effect. Um, yeah, like I said, this was probably a beginners on like the new gradient tools, new what's what's happening. Um, we are going to be doing um, tutorials on the pen tool and other shapes and outlines, etc. Um, <clears throat> And my favorite the pathfinder tools so just just please subscribe to our channel and um just get involved um what, what we're going to do next week um maybe a bit of xd or dimension yeah so X, xd is coming a, a really uh really good especially web development so let's do it let's do an xd video and um let's go from there well thanks for uh tuning in yeah thank you very much and um We'll see you next week. Yeah, short snap tutorial, that's what we love. <laughs> but uh, as you can see, this has definitely worked. So tune in, we'll see what else we can come up with and see what else we can do and go from there, really. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Bye.